Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking to you all about how you can make that career switch to become a data analyst. And I'll also be sharing with you about how I personally made that switch and things that I learned along the way. Many of them talk about how you need to learn a few skills like SQL skills and visualization skills. However, I spent over six months just researching and applying for that entry level data analyst job. And I learned a couple of things that I'm very sure that it can help you who is looking for that change and planning to apply for jobs. So let's right, dive right in. And I'm assuming that you are watching this video with at least some basic domain skills or data skills. So to give you all a bit background about why I'm talking to you all about this is I had an MBA in supply chain and I spent about four months just researching on how I can make my, my switch to data analytics and also did a master's in data analytics. But frankly, I wouldn't recommend you to spend time doing a master's degree. Instead, focus on self-teaching yourself. For the convenience of this video, I have broken down two types of viewers. One is someone who has that domain expertise and the other type is someone who has some basic understanding of data. So to all the domain experts, you are very, very valuable and with powering up with data skills, you will be a rock star. Since we are generating so much data these days, having the domain expertise and the data necessary data skills, it is you will be a valuable person for that industry. And someone who has that basic data skills for applications like Excel or any other application, you can one up your skills and learn how to become and get that first job as a data analyst. So the three most important basic skills needed for anyone who's switching their career is problem solving skills. I can't stress enough about how fundamental problem solving skills is. There are various websites and apps out there that can help you learn and improve your problem solving skills. The reason that I stress so much about problem solving is because once you are deep into all the technical aspects about data, it requires a high level of problem solving. So if you are one of those who are not very sure or very finicky about if this is the right choice for you, I would definitely recommend you to either, you know, download an app called Luminosity and see if you can solve some of those problems and also just Google search uh, problem solving tests and then which can help you take that problem solving test to see if you're a good fit for a technical job. I will also leave the link of Luminosity in the description below. You can check it out and let me know if that works well with you. The second main skill is SQL. So any data professional needs to have SQL skills. And I cannot stress enough about SQL skills. There are various courses in Udemy and even there are really good YouTubers who teach SQL. And 
once you have good foundations in SQL, it's easier for you to step into uh, any other language. And the third skill is the visualization skills. This is another important skill that you would need to master at. So you can start off with visualizations in Excel create visualization dashboards in Excel. That's the best way to start off with the existing applications that you have. If not, you can also try Power BI and Tableau. Tableau Community is a free application where you can just download and give it a try. And there's this whole Tableau Community who can help you if you're stuck and you can also just google search for solutions and power bi is another important tool i have worked on power bi for about three years now and power bi is an amazing tool but it you, you would have to pay for it whereas tableau is a free application now once you have all your foundations strong enough visualization skills, SQL skills, and problem solving skills, you will be good to start applying for that job. So these tips are something that I learned on my own. I spent six, six months to a year to just get that perfect job that I wanted, or at least that entry into the data analytics space. So the first and the foremost tip that I wish someone would have told me is building that right portfolio. I cannot stress enough about how important it is, especially if you're in the United States, to have that portfolio. It could be either on GitHub or LinkedIn or any other, any other uh, portfolio or your, just your own website. So it's very important to have that handy at all times. Once you are good with your skills, start focusing on building your portfolio. It could be just creating side projects, especially from data from Kaggle. You can use Kaggle as a very good, it's good platform to start with your side projects. Well, now let's dive in into the next tip that I really got my first job from that is tapping into your local communities. If you are in the United States watching this video, you must try to tap into the local communities. By that, I mean there are various startups, especially if you're living in bigger cities, there are these startups who reach out to these local communities when they are looking for jobs and sometimes they wouldn't have that capital to put up an, an job on online so tapping into the communities like actually women who are looking for a job you can tap into like center for women or just your local communities or a startup hub you can start applying there and see if they are looking for a job. And then the third and the most important tip is having three types of resume. The first is a general resume. The second and the third would be your ideal or your focus or your domain specific resume, right? Say, for example, I always wanted to get into finance or healthcare. So I had two types of resumes just for finance and for healthcare. So anyone whom I come across in these two areas, I would definitely send out my resume to them. So be domain specific, build a portfolio and tap into your local communities. These are the three golden tips that I can give you and hopefully this video helped you in any shape or form. If you have any questions about how you want to build a resume or make more videos like this, 
do let me know in the comments below and i will surely get back to you and i know how it is to be in that position where you have to switch careers and i so i'm ready to help each and every one of you so do let me know if you like this video and please do subscribe and share this video for anyone who is really looking to to switch their job into becoming a data analyst thank you for watching this video see you in my next one bye